Many of us wrestle with our technology, and so tonight we call on our go-to tech expert, Mark Saltzman, to show us how to get more out of our gadgets and gear. A few weeks back in this segment, we looked at a handful of tech tips and tricks. Five ways to get more out of your existing technology. And if the amount of email we read was any indication, the segment was well received. So why not do it again? So here are five additional ways to get more out of your electronics. Let's start off with something for Windows users that may address a common pain point. Stop me if this sounds familiar. You're typing an email to someone and looking at your keyboard instead of your screen. And when you look up, you notice you must have accidentally hit the caps lock key. So now it looks like you're yelling at someone. It's a common mistake for those who look at their keyboard while typing. But you don't need to delete all that text and start again. Simply hit Control A, which selects all the text on the screen, then press Shift and F3 at the same time. Doing this will change all your uppercase letters to lowercase instantly. How about that? Press Shift and F3 again, and it'll keep the first word of the sentence capitalized. Now that's a real time saver. Now that little known trick works in most Microsoft apps like Outlook for email, as you saw, as well as Word and others. All right, next up, speaking of typing on a keyboard, this next one is for iPad users who struggle to type on a virtual keyboard while holding the tablet. If you're having trouble typing a message or a note or an email on an iPad while holding it at the same time, here's a neat little trick you might not know about. Simply press down on the virtual or on-screen keyboard with your thumbs and pull apart to each edge and voila, it'll split the keyboard into two, which makes typing a lot faster than when it was together and larger. All the letters are in the same place, but will be much easier to reach with your thumbs. And when you're done, simply press the two sides of the keyboard together again with your thumbs to reattach them. It's that easy. That trick works especially well on a larger iPad, which could be more cumbersome to hold and type at the same time. All right, next up, speaking of tablets or an old smartphone you may have lying around, a few weeks ago, we talked about some clever ways to reuse them, to repurpose your old gadgets. One was to create a digital photo frame full of photos and home movies and gift it to a loved one. Another one was a free video surveillance camera with an app called Presence. Now let's look at alarm clocks. Since you may already be waking up with your tablet or smartphone, why not have a dedicated device on your night table? There are many free alarm clock apps for Android and iPhone or iPad, which not only tell you the time and wake you up when you want, even with different times on different days of the week, but you can also choose the way the clock looks and sounds. You can play white noise to help you fall asleep and wake up to your favorite song, podcast, or radio station. Free apps include Digital Alarm Clock by Square Notch, and another one called Alarm Clock by Millennial Apps also has optional wake-up tests to ensure you're awake, like solving math problems and more. All right, I don't know how I feel about solving math problems first thing in the morning, but I guess that's the point. It does the trick to wake you up. And speaking of apps, our fourth tip today is for those who give online presentations now over Zoom or Microsoft Teams, and you don't want to memorize everything, I've got a teleprompter app to show you that you won't believe. It's called Prompt Smart Pro, and it works on your iPad, which you can prop up near the camera that you're talking into, load up a script, and press play. Now, it's one thing to start the script and follow along but this is where things get really cool. It waits until you say the specific words in order to scroll. So you press play and follow along with me here. Hi everyone, today we're going to cover five top tech tips to mastering your devices. So as you can see, it's moving up, but it's gonna wait for me if I wanna ad lib in the middle, say something different. You can see it's not scrolling now, but let me continue. First up, did you know your smartphone can control Pretty cool, right? As I mentioned, it's called Prompt Smart Pro. It's about $28 at the Apple App Store for iPad. All right, finally, this is a low-tech solution to cleaning your high-tech devices. If you use Post-it notes, those little yellow sticky notes to help you remain organized, before you dispose of them, you can use it to clean the inside of your computer keyboard, which might have dust, crumbs, and hair. All of this could impede performance, of course. So take the sticky edge of the Post-it note and slide it along between the keys and all that gunk inside will stick to it. Neat, huh? Well, there you have it. Five tips and tricks to getting more out of your existing technology. I'm Mark Saltzman.